All right, going for another New England Patriots 2024 NFL Draft target. This time we're talking about A.J. Barner, tight end from Michigan. He is 6'6", 251, and is one of the best full-service tight ends in the 2024 NFL Draft class. He stands out as a dominant force in inline blocking, showcasing above-average play strength and proficient use of hands. Barner's physical attributes are nearly perfect to be a solid inline tight end with excellent height, weight, and athletic build, and long arms. Barner displays a unique blend of immediate quickness, agility, speed, and short area and short area acceleration that allows him to be effective in the slot and even as a wideout. AJ seems to have a solid football IQ and excels in both the run and passing games. Now AJ shines as a blocker both tight and split demonstrating exceptional skills in both zone and gap schemes, and his great use of hands is impactful throughout the play. Combined with a unique play strength not commonly associated with tight ends, really sets him apart. In the passing game, Barner adeptly identifies defensive holes, showcasing versatility as both an extension of an offensive line and a modern, flexible player capable of various roles. His contributions go well beyond statistics, as he serves in multiple capacities as such as pass protection, additional blocking, a weapon in open field, on special teams, and even on defense. Now for the stats, they're not crazy. He only had 22 receptions for 249 yards and one touchdown. And in other risks, he's probably going to be like a 4740. So the guy can move for his size, but we shouldn't expect him to be a seam ripper. He also appears to be pretty tight in the hips and doesn't sit very well on his routes and isn't incredibly sudden with his brakes. That being said, he's 6'6 and over 250 pounds, so we can't expect him to be incredibly twitchy. Now why would the Patriots want him? Well, primarily the Patriots will likely need at least one tight end from this draft. We have Hunter Henry, Mike Kosicki, and Farrell Brown all heading into the offseason as free agents. So Barner could replace at least one of them if needed because he is considered a Swiss Army knife on the field. I would describe Barner as a pro-style tight end, but with wide receiver ball skills. He excels as a highly competitive and dominant force in the run game while maintaining an elusive threat in the passing game. So he could be a viable replacement for Kosicki or Farrell Brown if they walk. I'm not going to go as far as saying he can replace Hunter Henry. However, he is probably a better blocker than all three of our guys and blocking is something Patriots need. It would be nice to have him out there on screen or taking on some of the best edge rushers. Something we haven't had this year. But it's Barner's versatility that Patriots should be attracted to. This allows him to impact the game in multiple ways, making him a valuable asset across various roles. Now, when would the Patriots target him? Uh, the tight end class is not very deep this year, so it's hard to determine where AJ could be picked. I think he is a fourth rounder, but it's possible that other teams see him as the next best full service tight end behind Brock Powers. So I wouldn't be shocked if I see him being taken in the third round to the right team. I think the Patriots would target him in the fourth or fifth, depending on how the board is forming, but who knows if he'll still be there. His combine and pro day will probably be key in determining his draft stock. If he can run the four sixes with solid agility grades, the Patriots might have to spend some draft capital to move up and get him. Anyway, what do you guys think of AJ? Do you think the Patriots should target him? When should they target him? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.